Welcome to episode number 32 of the Body to Lead podcast. Today's question, cardio or weights? Which one's best for fat loss? I'm Kyle Hubbard, personal trainer, nutrition coach, and international fitness presenter. And I'm Georgie Hubbard, personal trainer and mindset coach. And we're here to answer all of your biggest fitness and nutrition questions in under 10 minutes. We care about your health and well-being and are prepared to cut through the noise to help you find the answers. Having worked with thousands of clients, we've seen and heard it all. So if you're ready to take back control and know what it takes to get fit and healthy, then this is the podcast for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Body to Lead podcast. And today's question, I am really excited to answer. Mm. So what is best, cardio or weight training when it comes to fat loss? Mm. Um, Brilliant question. So I'm just going to kick it off um, because I used to be a cardio junkie. When I was in my (laughs) early 20s, I was doing like all the Les Neal classes, Bonnie Pump, Body Attack, Combat, Running. Like I just thought um, the more calories I burnt in a session, the better. So I would literally just go for hours and hours and do tons and tons of cardio. And um, and look, yeah, I was super fit. Uh, Was I healthy? No, I didn't have a very good, um, I guess, mindset around training and food at that point. But it wasn't until I began to incorporate some weight training, some resistant training into my exercise routine that my body really started to change. That, Mm. you know, I just, I noticed so much, so many benefits from from weight training, Just, just feeling stronger, which as a female is so empowering, you know, being able to just do simple things like lift heavy shopping, um, you know, just, just, it just these little things, I just think weight training is incredible. So I also wanna say as well, for all the females listening to this, if you think for a moment that you're going to go into the gym and lift weights and get bulky, oh my goodness, that will not happen. <laughs> I hear it all the time. But Georgie, I'm worried about, you know, getting, get, turning into the Hulk. I'm like, I wish. I've weight trained for the last, you know, eight years. And uh, I definitely have it. I, well, I don't think I look like the Hulk. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, I think absolutely a combination of both. So I don't want to be married to the Hulk. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. A combination of both is really, really important for um, longevity, heart health, and just, um, yeah, overall bone health and everything else so yeah 100% both we well, aren't correct you just answered it there and you said both and and look I must admit sometimes we, what, what we tend to do is we tend to go more towards the thing we're really good at yeah when we train and we think oh if we if we love like cardio we we tend to stick stick with cardio if we mm. love weights we tend to stick with just weights mm. and that's why things like you know your crossfit I must admit are, are very very good because they have they they it's the kind of the name says it, it's kind of cross-dimensional you know you're working all aspects of your fitness mm. which is super important because both both is necessary for you know for fat loss if we're fit we can we can lift better if we lift better we're stronger we become more able to do like um you know cardio things as well but in terms of fat loss i kind of want to jump in here and say there's different types of not different types of cardio but when we do let's say a cardio class then mm we tend to actually tip into our anaerobic threshold, which basically means when our body is working without oxygen. And when we work cardio, when our body's working with oxygen, then that's when we're actually in the fat burning kind of zones because there's a direct correlation between the amount of oxygen that we breathe in a day to the fat that we burn. Now, it's not to say we've just got to do cardio to burn fat or we've just got to do weights to burn fat or we've got to do HIIT because we're not going to burn fat because there is an absolutely, there is a place for all mm. of them. To give you an example with HIIT training, when we are working anaerobically and our body is just burning the you know the glucose that's you know readily available, it's looking for that quick um, energy source to find. So when we're training high intensity interval training, that breathless, that <gasps> I'm struggling to like actually catch my breath, our body's working anaerobically without oxygen. However, at the end of the session, what happens is our body's gone, you've just starved me of oxygen for 20 minutes or 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however long you've been in the red zone, the anaerobic zone of your training. So what happens for the rest of the day is the body is trying to repay the debt 
that you just spent in that hit class. So even though you weren't burning fat in that hit class, your body is actually then going to be burning fat for the rest of the day mm. up to 24 hours even up you know even up to maybe 36 hours as well because you're repaying that oxygen debt which we call an um, epoc which is excess post oxygen post exercise sorry oxygen consumption so it's there's a, there's, there's a, like like georgia just said there's absolutely room for both mm. and we've got to find that that happy balance and it's not mm. just like georgia said about training because if we become addicted to one form of training that 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 then doesn't become healthy and you would probably you know testament to that that you became quite obsessed around (laughs) you know i've got to burn x number of calories otherwise i can't have Mm. my meal or yeah whatever it might be yeah that's definitely i think you know in my early 20s i definitely it was it's it's really strange that the journey i sort of went on with exercise i think in the early days when i first started to work out i was yeah obsessed with burning calories you know and then it's like oh now i get to go and eat this and that and and now i think the that the best approach when it comes to exercise is moving because we want to honor and love our bodies moving mm. because our bodies just want to be moved and want to, and that and that is generally um, whether i'm walking um in nature on the beach whether i'm doing a hit class whether i'm doing some weight training i'm doing it out of the love of my body not to punish it not because i've just eaten a you know quote unquote bad meal like i move my body every day because i want to because there's so many health benefits from moving your body but i think you know we get so one-sided and, and it like there's no like one rule for you know that, that fits all it's like find out what works for you you know some people they they do need to do a little bit more cardio some people you know don't particularly like weight training in the gym well there's so many other classes that you can do as well and the best part is you don't even need to go to the gym to do some resistance training you can mm-hmm. train at home with you know just some some resistance band or some kettlebells so it's not necessarily about going to the gym to weight train it is literally just about you know, even with your own body strength, you could do some resistance training, you know, so it's finding out what works for you. But in answer to the question is pulling it all back, you know, what is best for fat loss? Like Kyle said, both It's a combination of some steady state, whether that's, you know, 30 minute walk a day, some HIIT training a couple times a week, getting your heart rate up, you know, for 15, 20 minutes. And then, yeah, doing some resistance training um, three times a week. And, you know, and for that, you want to, you know, if you are new, you want to you know source out a, a coach or a trainer because you know, the last thing you want to do is get injured, um, you know, and, and get your technique right. Because that's, that's a really big part of it. And that's probably 100%. what um, I didn't do right to begin with. Well, it's, well it's, it's kind of jumping in there to what you were saying. It's you want to when you're exercising you you want to basically be able to do it every day so if you're doing cardio and you're smashing your body every yeah. single day you just become tired yeah and you just become like maybe dreading fatigued. the next session but massively yeah. fatigued and it's the same with weights like if you were to go and do you know squats every single day mm. in the weight in the weight session or, yeah. or bicep curls if you want to get massive arms yeah um then then it's just your, your muscles just aren't going to have time to yeah. adapt aren't having going to time to recover yeah. and it's that's when it becomes like m- like mixing things yeah. up because you're never going to give you all in that no, next session no. i just want to jump on and say as well because people are always looking for the answer they're always mm. looking for the quick fix they're always going, cardio weights tell me what to do and then it's like oh right now it's cardio so i'm going to go and smash myself in the gym or i'm going to go for that run or i'm going to do go and go do that hit class every single day and they'll do it for like a week and then they'll be absolutely exhausted so again it's all about balance you mm. know like we, we will never sit here and say weight training cardio you know it is a combination of both but rest days are really important in there as well yoga stretching flexibility let's not forget about that as well you know for longevity so that's that's kind of it do both (laughs) but also have some flexible flexibility and yoga and relaxation in there as well yep and and ultimately it does come down to your nutrition as well correct oh yes look have yourself an amazing day wherever you are and we will see you on the next episode speak to you soon Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you have any burning questions that you want answered, be sure to reach out to us on social media. I'm Kyle Edward Hubbard on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm Georgie L. Hubbard on Facebook and Instagram. If you've enjoyed today's episode, we would love it if you left us a review. And we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Have an amazing day.